Hello, and welcome to Science From Home. I'm Molly, a librarian with Spokane County Library District, and today we're going to do an experiment on a topic that's near and dear to my heart, which is protecting the earth. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at soil erosion today. Uh, to start, let's define what soil erosion is. It's the gradual process of topsoil, the dirt that we grow plants and things in, being displaced or moved. This can occur in, from, from lots of different things. The wind can cause erosion, water can cause erosion, humans, animals, um, all of those. Uh, the question we need to ask then is how do we protect the soil we need to grow things and, and keep it from eroding? And that's what we're going to be looking at today. I've already gotten started setting up this experiment because it takes a little bit more prep work, uh, but I'll show you what you need if you want to follow along at home. So I have three bottles and I've cut off the top of the bottle here. So I've used my scissors to do that. So you'll need a couple of plastic bottles, a pair of scissors. We're going to use water. And then I have a couple more plastic bottles that I've turned into little buckets. So more plastic bottles and string. In total, I use six plastic bottles. So what I did is I cut out the top here of the plastic bottle and you want to make sure you you have the cap on still and I filled three of these with dirt the other two are behind me on a wood plank and then I took three more plastic bottles and I turned them into these little buckets so I just cut them in half poked holes in each side and then st strung strung them so they they can hang off of the top of the bottle all right so you can see that I have my three plastic bottles filled with dirt with the tops cut off lined up and I have them on a surface that allows the water catcher here to hang off of the spout of each bottle. So I have three bottles, three water catchers. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to experiment a little bit. In the first bottle, we're just going to leave the dirt as dirt. In the second bottle, we are going to fill the top with rocks. Um, that is a typical environment that we might see. Dirt and rocks all mixed together. We get a lot of that in eastern Washington here. So I've got lots of rocks that are just going to be sitting on top of my dirt. And in the third one, we want to add some sort of plant or grass or something. So here I have a chunk of grass that we can put in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour water into each the top, the open tops of each of these bottles. So what do we know so far? We know that soil erosion is the movement of dirt or soil because of an outside influence. In this case, we're going to be using water but it could be rain or it could be a flood or it could be a river. And as I pour in the water, the soil is gonna become wet and the water has to go somewhere. So we're, with luck, we will catch some of it in our buckets, in our bat little baskets here. The question we wanna ask is, which of these three do you think is going to do the best job of keeping the soil inside the container. Do you think just dirt alone, rocks on top of dirt, or grass on top of dirt? Oh, for this part, I do, you want to remove the caps. I forgot about that. 
So I'm going to take the caps off. So I poured all my water in. Well, could you come up with a good hypothesis for which of the three uh, things that we use, the rocks, the grass, and the just the regular soil would protect the, the soil the best? Let's see. So we started the first one was just dirt. And you can see inside the plastic bottle here that um, the water has really made a dent in the dirt. And if we come down and we look, at what we caught, we see that quite a bit of water has come out and it's pretty dirty looking. The next one was rocks. So we had a bunch of rocks on top of our dirt and I see that it has lost some water. But that water looks much cleaner. There's a lot less dirt in that water than in just the dirt one. Finally, we used some grass. And here, looks like we also lost some dirt and some water, but not as much. So actually it looks like the rocks were most effective at protecting the soil in this instance. Than any to recap, we learned a little about what soil erosion is, and we saw how water is one eroding force and can wash soil away. This is bad in general for a lot of different reasons. Soil erosion can lead to a loss of fertile farmland, more pollution and sediment in our waterways, and more flooding. Now this is a problem that is occurring globally across the world, not just here or in the United States. However, we also know that we can protect the land by preserving environmental features around us, like trees, plants, rocks, and grass. Remember, rocks and grass fared okay in our experiment. You could find out more about soil erosion and other kinds of erosion, as well as ways to help from the library. Now, I don't want to end on too much of a downer, so I'll close today with some photos of how erosion can change the landscape around us. And I've got to say, erosion is a powerful force, but it can also create some pretty stunning views. Thank you for joining me for Science From Home. We'll see you next week.